So for the next couple of weeks or so, we're going to be talking about surds. Uh, now, obviously, before we start talking about surds, we need to know what a surd is. I'll give you an example of a surd so you can see it in action. So the square root of 2 is a surd. Now, the reason it's a surd is if you type square root of 2 into your calculator, it gives you a decimal, and a decimal that goes on forever and ever and ever and ever. The only way that you can give the exact value of the square root of 2 is by saying the square root of 2. You can't give an exact value without having that root there. So other ones might be the square root of 7, the square root of 11. Now again, if I type those into my calculator, I'll get a string of decimals that go on forever and ever and ever and ever. It's not just square roots either. We can do cube roots. This is the third root of, say, 13. And we can do fourth roots as well. Uh, let's say the fourth root of 15. All of these are thirds. Now, just a reminder that the square root of 2 is a number that when multiplied by itself gives 2. And according to my calculator, it's 1.41, etc., etc. It goes on forever. Um, the square root of 7 is two numbers, that the same number that is multiplied by itself to make 7. A number that is multiplied by itself to make 11. This one is a number that is multiplied by itself three times to get 13, the cube root. Now, I'll just put that into my calculator so you can see exactly what the cube root means. Now, the cube root of 13 is equal to approximately 2.35. The decimals go on forever and ever and ever. So what we're saying is the cube root of 13 is equal to 2.35. Another way of writing sort of this idea is that 2.35 times 2.35 times 2.35 is going to be equal to 13. Similarly, the fourth root of 15, the fourth root of 15 is a number that multiplied by itself four times will give us 15. Again, that's going to be an approximate answer. This means approximate, but you get the idea. Okay, that's what a third is. Now, everything else is not a third. Let me give you some examples of not a third so you don't get confused here. So any of our basic numbers like uh, 9 or 12 or 103, they're not thirds. They're integers. They're whole numbers. So they're not thirds. Also, any numbers that are like exactly 2.35. Now, you might be confused because it's 2.35 here, but remember that was approximate. The cube root of 13 is 2.35133468888, book, 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 forever and ever and ever and ever. So any decimal number that terminates, that finishes, so even if it's 1.23759, as long as it stops there, that's not a third either. So whole numbers, any decimal numbers that terminate, that stop. Also any decimal numbers that go on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. 0.33333, we can put a little dot there, 0.333 recurring. That's not a third because it goes on forever and ever and ever, it's recurring. These things are also not thirds because they can be expressed as fractions. So 0.333, another way to write that is just one third. You can't express any of these as a simple fraction. The only way to express them is with these, with these uh, root signs. Now, just because you see a square root sign or a cube root sign doesn't mean it's a third. So if I write the square root of 9, that's not a third because that's equal to 3. Not a third. If I write, say, um, the cube root of 8, a number multiplied by itself three times to give the number 8, that's 2. So that's not going to be a third because I can very, very easily put it into a whole number. So, got to look hard for thirds, but a third is something with a root sign that if you try to find the exact answer, you can't find it. The only way to give the exact answer is with these here. Uh, over the next couple of weeks, we're going to be operating on thirds. We're going to be adding them, multiplying them, simplifying them, dividing them. Let's get started.